So the first feature for today's webinar is cloning a non-CDB or PDB using the refreshable clone strategy. So let's see this strategy in action on the next slides. So first, let me explain the concept of refreshable clone. With refreshable clone, we create a DB link from the target environment pointing to the source environment. And when we create a pluggable database using this DB link, we tell to the command how often we want to keep refreshing this PDB. So for example, you can keep refreshing it every 30 minutes. So in every 30 minutes, it's gonna only take the delta since the last refresh. This can significantly reduce your downtime because you don't need to move your full PDB from one environment to the other. You can just keep refreshing it and keep your environment online while you are doing this operation. Finally, when the upgrade times comes, you do a final refresh, which will only take the final delta. It will upgrade your PDB and open it. This is a great strategy, especially if you're not just upgrading using auto upgrade, but also migrating to a new server. You can also use this not only for PDBs, but also for non-CDB to PDB. So don't forget that you can create a refreshable clone using a non-CDB as a source environment. The only thing is that on, after the upgrade, auto upgrade will perform for you a conversion step, which will convert this non-CDB to a PDB. You can also determine the point of synchronization, meaning you can specify in seconds for the refreshable clone how often it's going to refresh your PDBs. Also, it's important to keep in mind that all the constraints that we have when we unplug and plug a PDB in another CDB also applies for this. And one of them is the components. Don't forget that your CDB must have must be a superset of all the components you have in all the PDBs. Meaning if you are moving a PDB from the source environment to a new target environment, you need to have in your CDB all the components that you have in that new PDB that you are just plugging in. Now let's see the PDB upgrade concept working with auto upgrade. So the PDB upgrade concept in auto upgrade is that we simply unplug plug and upgrade. And this already works with database links. First, we need to prepare our environment here. And the, the source CDB, you need to create a user on the container database and grant some sys privilege to it. Don't forget to also grant read on the sys ink dollar table because this table, this is a requirement, especially when you have encryption enabled in your source environment. Now on the third CDB, we need to create a database link using that user that we create on the source CDB. Another thing you cannot forget is that you may run the fit subs before you start your clone operation. So your PDB will be already prepared and with all the fit subs applied that's needed to perform this refreshable clone operation. Let's see an example of a config file for this refreshable clone. First, just for a PDB upgrade without being a refreshable upgrade. So we have this source DB link parameter here pointed to the DB link that we created. Also the PDB name and the copy operation here uh, showing that we wanna copy the database files. Now, if we want to use the refreshable clone, we also provide a second item here to this source DB link parameter. And this number here that we are specifying in this example is 60. It defines how often we wanna refresh this PDB. So here we are refreshing the PDB every 60 seconds. And finally, the start time here is in one hour and 30 minutes. Meaning we are refreshing the PDB with the deltas every 60 seconds. And finally, in one hour and 30 minutes, it will start the upgrade action. If we check the log file, we will see that every 60 seconds in, in the log file, we will have a refresh entry happening here. Finally, auto upgrade will always issue a final refresh before the upgrade starts. 